It's no secret that the electromagnetic highways known as circuits are the life force of modern technology. While robotics continues to accelerate society towards more automation every day, when we stop to smell the flowers in this fast-paced world, we notice two remarkable fields propelling these advancements. This is, of course, electrical and mechatronics engineering. But the field of engineering evolves so quickly, it becomes really tough to distinguish one from the other. After all, robots are made with a ton of circuits, right? So aren't these two fields kind of the same? Well, today we explore this difference and hammer down a solid definition for each one in our full throttle cross comparison, electrical versus mechatronics engineering. Before we get into the real awesome stuff, let's make sure we're all on the same page with some quick definitions. Starting off with electrical engineering, this broad field builds off of the electromechanical laws of physics to develop everything having to do with circuits, which are basically boards that route electrical signals to various electrical components to accomplish a task. Electrical engineers are to thank for everything from vast power grids giving life to nearly all of Western North America to the nanoscale transistors at the forefront of technological advancements today. Now, on to mechatronics, which is actually the words mechanical electronics thrown together like butter on toast. This field pulls concepts and practices from electrical, mechanical, and software engineering to develop devices capable of precise, autonomous interaction with the real world. This results in systems like robotic arms, self-driving cars, and even the everyday conveniences of the ATM machine. But wait, robotic arms, cars, and ATMs all have circuits in them, right? So mechatronics engineers can do everything EEs can do and more. Yeah? Well, no, not exactly. But we do agree these two definitions have a lot of overlap and don't really tell us what makes these fields unique. So where can we find the real difference? As engineers, we know the best way to solve a problem is by going to the source, which is exactly what we'll be doing here. The real difference between the two fields is hidden in the enriching, thought-provoking, and clammy palm to land of college engineering. Here, the difference in these engineer skill sets are laid out very simply for us. From these differing skill sets, we'll be able to draw a nice and concise conclusion about the real difference between these two paths and find exciting insight along the way. Oh, and make sure you stay until the end. We'll be discussing which of these career paths pockets the most dough. Now, let's go find that difference. To start our curriculum search, both the mechatronics and electrical engineering degrees get started with standard engineering math and physics classes, along with a healthy dose of programming in Python, C++, or similar languages. Both degrees will take circuits courses which solidify students' understanding of resistors, capacitors, and inductors before moving on to more advanced devices and configurations, like op amps, diodes, and transistor circuits. But the electrical pathways don't stop there. Once you're done with analog circuits, you move on to digital ones. Digital circuits are like your normal circuits, but employ a simple twist, making every signal simply either on or off instead of continuous, like analog signals. Each has their own world of applications in electronics, to be discussed in a later video. With these digital circuitry and binary skills, our two majors continue on to take digital logic controller and low-level programming courses that utilize different software and hardware properties to program microprocessors, or FPGAs, to accomplish all types of goals. All students enjoy the rewarding labs in these courses as they get to make flash encounters to basic video games and stop light algorithms here. And now that we're done with the similarities, we can move on to what we really came for the difference between these majors. In the mechatronics degree, we see a specific focus on mechanical engineering subjects, like mechanical modeling and design and finite element analysis. They also take a few courses in the software engineering domain to learn about the building blocks of computers and how to connect systems of them together. And then we arrive at the most interesting part of the degree, the mechatronics specific courses. Students take courses like machine elements and automation, as well as instrumentation and control, which give in-depth intros into the day-to-day -day tasks in a mechatronics career. Check out our curriculum roadmap videos if you want a deeper explanation on individual courses. But in this video, we've got to find out what electrical engineers have been up to. In this degree, we see a focus on everything having to do with circuits, basic and advanced circuits analysis, programming digital circuits, 
electromagnetic fields and waves, and more. Electrical engineers move on to explore further applications of circuits like radio frequency and communications, programmable logic, digital signal processing, and power energy systems, to name a few. We know we threw this information at you really fast, so let's digest it and outline a clear difference for you to take away from the video. The Mechatronics curriculum informed us that this degree focuses on mechanical, electrical, and software skills, but leans into a stronger mechanical engineering background, while simultaneously focusing the instrumentation and control for general systems. Electrical engineering, on the other hand, utilizes some software engineering skills, but for the vast majority stays heavily within the arts of circuits and its applications. What this means for you is that Mechatronics is well prepared for careers that use electronics to control sets of mechanical equipment. This could be translating the push of a button to reeling up an entire drawbridge or designing robotic arms that append each car part to the frame in a manufacturing line. Mechatronics engineers find careers in industries like aerospace systems, industrial automation, defense, autonomous vehicles, and robotics, to name a few. Okay, not so bad. Now, let's do electrical engineering. These engineers are well-equipped for careers involving the circuits of everything from e-bikes and iPhones to intricate rocket system electronics and MRI machines. EEs are very popular in aerospace, defense, power, industrial, automobile, and consumer electronics industries, to name a few. Pretty much any company that develops and maintains circuit boards requires electrical engineers. Now, to really drive this point home, Mechatronics is a broad degree that leads to multiple specialization opportunities in systems, automation, and finite engineering design. While they use electronics extensively for these purposes, like a robotic arm, they don't specialize in designing any intricate circuitry, like that of the microprocessor inside the robotic arm. This intricate circuit design is where electrical engineers come in. Electrical engineering is also a broad degree that opens doors to develop all types of circuits in many rich subfields. EE definitely touches on the mechatronics practices of instrumentation, automation, and system-level perspectives, but does very little, if any, work with mechanical engineering concepts like mechatronics engineers regularly do. Instead, they heavily focus on the development of, you guessed it, circuits. This could be altitude control systems in a satellite, a power grid spanning multiple states, or the 5G communication circuit in an iPhone. Now, of course, these are general statements, and these two fields are similar with some curriculum and career cross-pollination. It's not the end of the world if you choose the wrong major. It just makes it a lot easier on you if your degree closely aligns with your future career. Congrats! Now you know the difference between electrical engineering and mechatronics. But we only brushed over the industries for these engineers. What actual career options do they have? And the ever important question, which degree has higher average salaries? Hmm. Okay, to start off, Average entry-level electrical engineers in the U.S. make about $87,500 a year, whereas entry-level mechatronics engineers make a whopping $104,000 a year. So, mechatronics engineers definitely take the cake here. But does this trend continue throughout the entirety of their careers? Hmm, okay, let's see. Senior-level electrical engineers end up with around $170,000 a year on the high end, where senior mechatronics engineers pull up to $188,000 a year. We'd like to add a caveat to this data and say that electrical engineers have many subfields that aren't represented by these numbers, and that your pay heavily depends on numerous factors, like location, experience, and negotiation skills. So at the end of the day, it's much more important to choose a career you think you'll truly be happy in, instead of sweeping your happiness under the rug for a little more cash. Anyways, we've listed the most popular career paths out of either degree and their salaries here for your benefit. We'd love to get into all the juicy details, but have already done so in many of our other videos. Make sure to check them out and subscribe for more career deep dives. We won't stop until we do every single engineering career. And now you should understand the difference between these degrees and be able to choose between them. 
But if you want to know more about these career choices, well, check out our mechatronics or electrical engineering deep dives for the best insider information. As always, thank you for watching.